Hey, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Today we're talking about how to make your bends sound awesome. So I'm really keen today to tell you about two different ways of using bends. The first one tends to come more naturally at first, I think, and then the second one is a little bit more work, but I think is far more important, and that's the one I really want to kind of get you started with today. So the first one that tends to come for people is using bends in an in inflective way, almost as an extra texture to a normal note. So for example, you might take the four draw on a C harmonica, and if you learn to bend it, it might be that, say in a lick you'd normally play, you do that. Or, you kind of bend in and out of the note. So it's not a new separate thing, it's just adding to that four draw that you'd normally play. Normal. With some bend kind of uh, texture added. That tends to come more naturally and that tends to be something I hear a lot of players who are just starting to bend and they're using the bends like that. But I also hear experienced players who only use their bends like that. Now it's easier to bend in that way because you can bend in and out of normal notes, you don't have to worry about getting them in the tune. But the second way that you can use bends and the bend technique that will really make you sound awesome is to start to use those bends as melodic notes. So what's the difference? Well, an inflective or textural bend is added at the start or the end of a normal note just to kind of give it something extra. But a melodic bend is where you understand the pitch, the exact note that a bend can give you, and put that in as part of your melody. So for example, instead of just bending into the bend on two draw, kind of that sort of thing, I might hit the full tone bend on hole two, which I know is an F note, like that. So, so I've used the, a bend on hole two, I've also used two different bends on hole three. There's a very big difference between that and where you're bending notes but you're not using them as melodic notes, you're not picking out specific tones that you want to be part of your melody. Now the reason I'm telling you about this is that I think it's often overlooked and even people who've been playing a long time don't always have a grasp of this. And the second reason I'm telling you this is that hopefully I'm going to be able to help you. So I want to suggest to you today that f the first thing you should do is familiarise yourself with what the notes in, uh, that you have available as bends would be if they were somewhere else on the harmonica. So I mentioned that the two draw full step bend, full tone bend, is an F note on a C harmonica. I know that because I've studied it and worked it out and looked at maps of the harmonica and memorised that. But where else can you get an F on the harmonica? Well, you can get an F on a 5 draw and you can get it on a 9 draw. Okay, so you get, if you've got the bend on hole 2, you've got 3 Fs on, on the harmonica. Okay. Now that's not just an academic exercise, knowing that. What it does is it helps you understand the range of notes that the harmonica is ava has available to you. It means that you can also check your pitch. You can, I mean, that wasn't perfectly in tune then, but you can check, am I getting an F? Because it should sound an octave away from the five draw, two octaves away from the nine draw. So you can kind of compare and, and do it that way. It means when you get a uh, use a tuner, and you should get, by the way, a tuner, so the a chromatic tuner, so you can find all the chromatic tones available by bending. You can look for F. You can look on the screen, uh, look on the dial, you know, F, and see if you're getting it in tune. Otherwise, you're just aiming in the dark for, for random 
notes, basically. So I'm not going to give you every bend and, and what note it is on a C harmonica or, or another key harmonica today, because I, I don't want to spoon feed you this, I want you to work it out. But what you should be able to work out is what uh, the note of the semitone bend on a one drawer is. What that semitone is, and then hole two gives you two semitones of bends, two half steps. That's the natural note. So you've got two bends. And then th hole three has three. That's the natural note. Four just has one. Six has one. Five doesn't really have a bend in this sense. Five draw can only be used as an inflective or textural bend. You can make it move, but you'll only ever get a flattened kind of version of the five draw, the F. You won't get down to an E because the five blow is an E, and you can only bend between the blow and the drawy pitch. You can't bend further than the, the, the lower one. Uh, so, you should be able to find the whole one, the two on two, the three on three, and the one on four, and the one on six. So that's eight notes you should be able to identify. I've already given you the second bend on two is the F note, but you should be able to work out the pitch of each of those notes then compare them on a tuner as, you, as you're learning to get that muscle memory and then you can start to use those as melodic notes. This is not a quick thing, this will take you a long time and um, it's still a battle, I mean the ones I played then won't have been perfectly in tune by any stretch. It's always a battle to try and get them in tune and make them sound like melodic notes. And it's easier in the context of a blues song, for example, where the roughness of the note might not be as such a problem than playing a ballad where you play something, you know, playing a really nice slow song and then trying to put that note in as a melodic note. But it's a great skill to have. It opens up the whole range of the instrument. And if you do this with draw bends and blow bends, and then if you get into over, over bends as well, the whole instrument becomes chromatic, basically. You've got all of the notes that you, that you might want available to you. So that's my advice if you want to take the bends from being just a kind of rough extra texture, which I think a lot of you will, might be at that point. Give me your feedback, by the way. Let me know uh, where you're at. And if you want to take it from that to something where they're actually starting to sound like part of the music in, in, a, in a completely different sense, in a melodic sense. I've put together some practice exercises for using the bends as melodic notes and if you'd like to get that it's available as a premium lesson. So there's a link beneath this video that I put together 10 practice exercises. It uses all of the different draw bends so you're going to get a really good workout on all of those different notes that you're trying to identify and uh, you can get that via the link. If you're enjoying my premium lessons, then consider becoming a member of my website. For $19.99 a month, you can get access to all of my premium lessons and tabs, and if you sign up today for a yearly membership, you get two months absolutely free. So do check out the link to that beneath the video as well. Do give me your feedback. I'd love to know where you're at with these bends. Let me know if this makes sense, if you think you might be stuck at that first step of the kind of rhythmic bends, um, textural bends rather, and you're trying to progress. Let me know if this sort of rings true for you. I'd love to hear your feedback and get your requests for lessons as well. So email contact at learntheharmonica.com. Of course, put your comments beneath the video and you can find me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, just search learntheharmonica.com. Until I see you again, good luck with your practice and I'll see you soon. Cheers.